Hi, my name's John from John Bourne's Barbertown, and this is Ruben. And today we'll be doing a graduated cut. First off, some clippers and a number two grade. And on Ruben's hair, we're starting right by his temple. Slowly working towards the front. Tapering his hair. On number two. And that allows us then to go over with a number one, which is the next grade down. into the number two. Also, when you're using a grade one, just lift the scalp. It makes the hair and the skin tighter. And you'll find the hair will come off a lot easier. You're just pulling the folds out of the skin. And when we get to the ear, rather than Folding the ear down, you tend to come in from behind the ear. Towards the front, and then in front of the ear, towards the back. And that way you get nice and close without having to keep folding people's ears out of the way. Next off, uh, Ruben has a very um, sort of an outline detail on the front here, so I'm just going to pop that in and then we can carry on with the rest of the haircut. I've now got a smaller pair of clippers. And we're just detailing where we're going to put this outline in. And now we're going to be moving on to the detailer clipper, which is a very, very close blade. So it's very good for artistic work. We're just creating a new hairline. And now we have the borderline put in. Back on the number two, grade on the clipper. And we're just going to continue around, working up towards the crown. Just working towards the temples again. By doing the number two at the very top, you'll find it much easier to blend the number one into. So go back to the number one. Just nice and slowly, carefully. We're not digging into the hair, we're just slowly moving the clippers away from the hair. And 
And now what we're going to do, we're just going to go around the very bottom half on a, what we call a, a 0.5 grade, which is just a taper lever pulled back on the clippers. This just allows us to get the finish, the tight taper, right into the back of the neck and behind the ears. Just put the head up from the Cheers. And again, just pulling the skin up. Just give the customer a bit of a, a dusting off. And then we go back onto the detailer clipper. Just to put a very nice, just an edge. Or we'll create a new hairline. And do the same procedure. We're now going to move on to the top of the hair and we're just going to give it a very, very choppy, sort of layery, spiky look, but sort of unkept. Okay. Working from the front to back. Just going to take a minimum amount off the top. Now come across the hair because <clears throat> this particular haircut is slightly shorter on the one side. So we're working back towards the crown. So now we're going to use a technique called scissor over comb, which is generally used for, well, blending in and cutting into the hair. And this is why barbers generally use bigger scissors, because small scissors make the job very fiddly. I'm just going to pick the hair up on the top with the scissor and then just cut down. And I'll use my comb to hold the hair up because if you were to pick the hair up, because it's very short, and then try and cut into it, you'd end up cutting your fingers. And now we're just going to use a bit of clipper over comb. I'm using a big comb, it's very flexible. So we can really get it into the hair and the head and it will mould to the shape of the head. And we're just picking away at any corners that have been left on. And we now repeat the process. Now we move on to the front. A little bit more spray. And because we've taken half the fringe away, we'll just be pecking a little bit out, just give it a bit of texture. Just to move around a bit more. 
And all I'm going to do is just go into the front and just gently take a bit away. Okay, and there's a final, final measure, flat top comb. I'm just putting my flat top comb in, I'm just looking for anything that I've left behind that I've missed. Turn the ribbon around. And again on this side, flat top comb in. And anything out of the ordinary, you just take away with your clippers. Right. Just drying the hair. Product in your hands. Just coat the hair lightly, forward motion, and that coats the one side of the hair. And rub what's left and come back the other way. And from there, you can just pick away at it and get it just how you want it. And that's a nice graduated short back and size, choppy haircut with a borderline.